Hello and welcome back to Sobrix. I'm Adam and this is Sobrix. This is my channel for reviewing Lego sets, putting Lego sets together, taking them apart, and just some other Lego related content in the future. In this video, we're going to take a look at the Lego Creator 3 in 1 Fantasy Forest Creatures. It's set number 31125. It has 175 pieces, and I paid $15 for this set. Now, I've already done a video looking at the main model for this set, so what I'm going to do in this video, well, first, I will, I will link the original video in the description. But for this video, I am going to be taking the main model apart and putting together one of the alternate builds. Uh, this alternate build is a, a baby deer or a doe, um, but colorful, and a rabbit or a bunny. I've been building a lot of bunnies lately uh, because of the, the season and the sets that have come out. And then I will take, I'll give my thoughts on that, on this, this alternate build, I'll take that apart and I will put together this posable squirrel, a colorful posable fantasy forest squirrel. And then I'll talk about that set, kind of compare my thoughts for all three of the builds included in this Lego Creator 3 in 1. So while I take apart this main model, I will speed up the video. And while I put together this model, I'll speed up the video, then I'll slow it down so I can give my thoughts, and we'll keep going from there. So until then, enjoy.
Okay, so that is the first alternative build, or one of the alternative builds for this Fantasy Forest Creatures 3-in-1. So this is a, a deer, or a doe, a baby deer, uh, but Fantasy Forest, and uh, this is a, a bunny, or a rabbit, but Fantasy Forest. And these are okay. These are pretty good. So I, so I really liked the owl, as I said. You can watch my video looking at that model. And I thought the owl was pretty good, and the hedgehog surprised me. Uh, for this one, we can see it doesn't use some of the bigger elements that were in the main, main model. Um... I wasn't really sold on these legs while I was building them, and now, having completed this, I'm still not sure. I guess I don't know how baby deer move. I, I assume at a certain point they're rather awkward, and then this would kind of make sense, but these legs felt a little weird to me. They don't feel particularly stable, although it, I'm not worried about it falling necessarily there's not too many place, ways you can pose it although these are on ball joints so you do have side to side and a little bit of forward and back um i just don't think you can get like a pose like is on here that's kind of an action thing so i don't know if there's any way to really stand this up on on its hind legs the head can also tilt a little bit as if these two characters were having a conversation with each other the rabbit i was willing to be surprised by i think the ears look great uh it's very exaggerated just like these eyes are so it's very cartoony i love the pastel yellow um the colors in both of these models are really good some of the exposed um studs here i think for a creature like this for a character uh, I would have preferred that be a little different, um, but uh, these are these are pretty solid. I still think probably the owl is a little better. I thought it had more posing options and had more kind of ways to embody a character than these. I mean, the eyes on this deer do a ton of the heavy lifting. Not only do they cover up a bunch of stuff, but they... Are very expressive and uh, and so I think you know without those elements this would be a, a very different a very different model uh, but I like the use of these kind of architectural something or other pieces that I noted uh, in the main one I I'm, this is the kind of a new piece to me I don't know if it's a piece that came out just last year or not but I haven't seen a ton of them, but I've, I'm seeing them more and more, and I, I always welcome new pieces. Uh, and so both of these models use them. The rabbit uses them on the underside here, and that's really cool. Uh, as far as build experience goes, there's nothing too challenging, nothing too out of the ordinary, uh, which is fine. I still enjoy putting together Lego so uh, I'm I would be hard-pressed to find ones that I really dislike uh, but some of the things I look for are how repetitive it is how new it is or like inspired or unique the techniques uh, or the final model um, turn out to be sometimes I see a technique in a set that like really blows my mind and I just am like wow Lego designers are really really good at what they do and i can't say that this you know gets me to that level of just saying wow they really exceeded my expectations here um these are about what i expected uh and they pick really good angles to photograph their models so all in all this is this is okay this is pretty solid uh, not my favorite, not my least favorite. I may build this rabbit again just because I think this is a wonderful 
Easter springtime kind of build with all the other rabbits I've been seeing lately, the three and one white rabbit, Chinese New Year rabbit, the Easter basket gift with purchase rabbit, and all sorts of other things. Um, this feels very Eastery to me, and uh, part of that is because this yellow color there. So now I will take this apart and work on the Fantasy Forest Squirrel. And while I disassemble these two figures and assemble the next one, I will speed up the video and uh, then I'll slow it down and give my thoughts. So until then, enjoy. Okay, so that is the last alternate build for this Fantasy Forest Creatures 3-in-1. So this is the, they call it the Posable Squirrel, and 
it's fantasy colored. The colors are nice, just as every other model from this set are. I really like how the tail came together, and there's a lot of movement that can be done with that. Um, these arms, or what hands, whatever squirrels have, feet, can be posed a little bit. This shows him it rather holding this side build and I wonder if that can be done easily. Look at that. So we've got the squirrel kind of holding the acorn or nut or whatever that is. So that's really cool. I don't know how sturdy it is, but if you were going to leave it on a shelf, uh, that would that could be pretty neat, I would say. Uh, I like that that's a possibility a lot. Uh, the head can rotate. That's easy. Ears can move a little bit this way and back and forth, uh, and these little feet can move a little bit. Pretty solid on its base, but if the tail is down all the way, that definitely helps its stability. I had a little bit of trouble putting uh, the eye pieces together for whatever reason, but that's not to say that they were particularly challenging or anything new I hadn't seen before, just for whatever reason I struggled with it. So uh, I really like this model. I think I like this more than the deer and the rabbit. Um, I think I like the scale of it a little better. Like these studs don't bother me nearly as much uh, as they did on the rabbit on the side because they are kind of rounded and just feel a little more organic when on the rabbit it just had like solid two by two of uh, studs. So if I'm comparing the squirrel to this deer and rabbit, I think I like the squirrel better. I mean, this pose holding the acorn really, really sells it for me. Uh, and I think the face gives a, a, like has a lot of life. Uh, these are really clever use for teeth, kind of buck teeth, these like clip pieces. I think that's wonderful. Uh, how you build the head is kind of interesting because you're flipping it all over this way and that way. So I didn't realize for the longest time that this would be sort of the nose or the upper lip mouth area of the squirrel and then the rest would be the back. I, I actually didn't know where that was going, so that's always cool. Internals are, are, are fine and uh, used, I think, probably more pieces than this certainly more of the bigger ones because it uses these uh, rounded three by threes and I like this um, you know neither of the side builds used these two pieces obviously not the book with the stickers on them but they did use uh, some good some good elements now this one does not use any of these kind of architectural elements I've been calling them. I don't know what they're supposed to be, but they have like a little, uh, let me see if I can focus in on uh, this piece here. They have a little bit of a uh, curly cue and uh, I don't know what to call this piece. So if you know, what that piece is, uh, feel free to leave it in the comments. So this build didn't use any of those. I, I'm trying to think if I would add them anywhere specifically. Uh, a part of me thought, now that I'm looking at this, because these have sort of a rounded edge, that there might, there might have been a way to use these as teeth although you know I'm sure the I'm sure the designer tried well maybe not but uh, 
you know, this is really good. I think this is very clever. I just, I, for whatever reason, like this element, and I like, I keep wanting to see it used in new special ways. So, um, you know, but that's okay. That's not in here. This is, this is pretty good. Pretty, pretty good. Now, I think at the end of the day, I still prefer the main build. I like the book, kind of blew my mind the book because it was so simple but so effective hedgehog fine owl pretty great a lot of articulation uh, a lot of i think uh character in the owl uh, this guy has this this squirrel has good some good characterization as well uh, but i really really like this main model uh, at the end of the day you know this set 175 pieces three great builds with awesome color selection good for parts uh you know the build experience for these is fine um for this age set at this price point you know 15 dollars for 175 pieces i think this is a really really good set so i really like this and if you liked this video consider giving it a like and if you like my channel consider subscribing to it so you can stay up to date on all of the new and fun lego content that i will be doing here so until then thanks and bye